Hello everyone, welcome to Summon Tools. Not a popular car, German made but Australian friends. It's called the Holden Cruise. In America, we call it the Chrysler, Chrysler Batch. But there is no difference with the Holden Cruise in Australia. The Holden Cruise equipped. This is a four cylinder one. So they've been ringed to me for check and service the water problem before it's always had a problem very popular to this car is the seal there the bracket holding the see there's a seal inside there and the thermostat housing normally the problem with water leaking there very common and uh, leak from there as well with the main water house there be careful get all the seal replaced and in here the water leak is from here when you test pressure you don't see any water come out but when you stop it will come out and the pulleys for this one is very punched on the jaw so take the three number bolt out like this one like this one this one you see you need you need torx 40 and you're using some tools like this torx 40 and the breaches with the quarter and the breaches go in there before you take up the belt you see the belt tensioner, you've got the pin that lock the belt tensioner But before do the belt tensioner, you need to lift the belt on So the belt on and grip on the pulleys, you can lose all this first Before you release the tensioner That's the tools I use to take it out and you have to put it back exactly the same way How you get out, how you get back in with the 14 mils Torx And uh, lift the bolt here, don't lose it The air intake, make sure cover this end up because uh, too much work around here don't want any dust or anything go fly in here and you're in small trouble so for enter this one now you can undo the torx number eight what this one number 10 so number 10 is not in or not on yes number 10 okay i need a little bit adapter and you can undo the water pump because the water pump just leak there when the pressure test okay but when it's rolling, it's coming out from there and you can see the water spit out on the main one. See the pink color coming everywhere and go up here. That means the water pump grip into the belt. Thing like German design. Very careful when you're using the uh, the bolt here. When you tie them on, you have to get in uh, exactly not too, not too hard. Make sure I put some silicone and you will do the job. Otherwise, uh, it will be very easy broken this bolt out and uh, adapter here i don't have the uh, weaver one so i'm using this one so i make it long enough to go in there and i'll be happy so uh, okay i got it now okay i got it now it's been uh, hot and i sit up a lot so very careful when you do it so make sure you get the right tools okay don't go for the wrong tools and uh one is lumps and uh, can't get it out you're in very small troubles because uh all this bolt cannot be shred and overturned and it can be broken easily so the water pump see the pink everywhere is running out from here and from the main shop that's the main reason we've been uh we've been uh fixed the uh so we go down here and you can see and sneak your hand in here left the belt there later we put the belt back on how we get back out how we put it back in very simple and don't touch it and here is the bottom one okay <clears throat> it's super tight it's super tight tight super tight tight like tiger tight tight okay put that one there man shit later i don't know how to put the belt back on man don't do that to me man i'm too scared man okay another one here and loose them all out first okay they all loose okay now we can go on the top and uh, do by hand on this one still need that one still need this one and still need this one still need this adapter where the where the adapter man adapter there and now you can sneak your hand in if you want so you can turn by hand yeah oh man i need one more turn still hot 
still hot. I don't care. I can lose you out again some more. It's really no hand as if you want to do easy, don't be lazy. Get the socket number 17. Take this one out and put the stand on the underneath and must easy. But I do my lazy way first, okay? And if lazy way work, forget about easy uh, hard way. So it look like it's working for me on lazy way. And here is the brand new pump water. You will see. It looks simple, but it's not simple. Here are the pump rods. Here's the new pump rods, you see? That's all it is. And this little pump here, and little one here, if you want to put extra silicon firm lay, you do it. <coughs> it wouldn't hurt. So um, silicon helps sometimes. Sometimes you need silicon, okay? But uh, mainly, the pump is not broken from there. All the pumps are not broken from the seal here. But you see the main shop in here, it have a seal. And when it leak and it start to come out from the diaphragm here, see that leaking from there. That's all. With enough pressure and the heat, they will came up when the ball's bearing rolling. And it came up because the seal is gone. So that's all they design for. And of course, you know, work all the time is nothing lasts, okay? It's really no hand at all. If you have big hand, good luck. Okay, very little hand. And uh, if you are in right hand better, I, I in I am left hand on this side. So no good for me on the left hand side, this position. So left hand can do a job for this car. Okay, one down, put it up. No, not overturn it, okay? It's broken, it broke very easy. So I'll put it there, one, and then we lose it. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, king. Ah, oh, you see? You see? Now you see? Okay, I get one more in here first. And then we'll do the other one later. It's been a uh, sit so long and it's hot. That's why it's a uh, very, Hard to get out and no room and I uh, need proper tools I think Simon got all the terrible tools so that's a good excuse because I uh, cannot afford by the right tools for me so one out see all wets around see all the wets around here too see maybe all the seal are gone too because uh, it's been hot and cold hot and cold and the seal are go flat flat i've been replaced all the seal and check all the leaking there and there already so all good and press the test it's all right but when you're driving they come out so that's why i checked out and do that before and because i know i concerned about the running from the belt coming out but you can't really see it you can't really see the water come out but when you drive it in the water so all that is that's it and uh, this one must be very good we may have some pork skin in here okay i can see something this is like a pork skin this pork skin skin been cooked i may take it out for eating eat it okay this one i don't know where they're from i have no idea oh i have to do a uh, Get a new one and put them on so clean the shit around the edge here first okay always got yourself a swiper like this when you do tools or mechanic you need it because uh with the old gasket you need something like this to get it up and make sure it's all the surface is not rough and clean them all out with uh, with that okay Okay, we are uh, mostly everything nice and clean. All the silicone is out and get the rags and clean them up and make sure it's super dry and uh, put a firm layer of the new silicone 
like I suggest everyone using the gray silicon okay let's find out the gray one is stronger and better no boost okay now we clean up with the racks with the racks thing clean the also here but uh, this is really annoying here my car I will cut it busted up easy for everyone to do anything else and you can enter your pulleys in that way you can enter the water pump in that this way without this one here without instead of you have to sneak underneath ridiculous so make sure it's super clean and super dry here okay no water come up no water come up okay super clean super clean so the water coming out still coming out put in here get it out from the hole there okay we in, we're waiting for the water come out we take this one up and we put sperm lace up uh, seal, seal put firm layer of silicon along here use all this bottle this one the old bottle normally the seal is not coming out from here okay but we still uh, just in case uh, we want to do 100% jobs but mainly the water pump leaks is from the main shop here okay it's nothing to do with the silicon here but uh you know we just scare too scared and uh take that one up we're just too scared and put them on just in case okay we sneak underneath in we caught up that terrible thing there go there and go in there see that's why we have to go long way so no doubt about it okay leave it to that one there now i can sneak my hand on and bring it over so that's why that's why go long way Okay, we turn, we turn until we get the target man. So we got the target there, and we, here we are. Put it there, see, there, there. And even make sure all the bolts is evenly down before you tight, tight, okay? Don't over tight one end and uh, it will be pop up the rings. And um, to note it's the water pump is failure. So you like that look at the torch and look in the how that way the release of air there normally you can see the juice coming out or you can see the belts are wet and the belt is rolling and hit into the bonus like this mark that means the side of the water pumps is gone and uh, this car was very heavily damaged and uh, because the water heater house and the water house they're using the quick quick release that's why the uh, the compression the vibration is uh, loosening and uh, cracks all the rubber seals out. And uh, for do that, I have to take everything up nice and clean, put new O rings on, and uh, gray silicon firm lay, push it on, and I hope it lasts forever. We finish and make sure all that one on. The one I talk about this shit here, design that shouldn't be here. You gotta look at this. Look at that. You see, like even the water pump, I can slide on that way. So what we have to do is slide underneath, do the hard way, sneak underneath here, bring it to my hand, and bring it on, and bring it on, and slide it on. That's how it is. It's always make it hard for everyone. They don't, they don't make things easy for you. Okay. So sort it out and do it yourself. Okay. So we are put there and new bolt on. So I need to do one by one because there is really no hand at all. And this annoying too, you see? Very annoying. Why that one there? See? We need two hands, man. And we don't want that one there. Why right there? Because they want to make something difficult for everyone. I'm falling down, man. What right there for? Let's avoid the way, man. And uh, don't put it in the wrong way with the pulleys, huh? because uh, see the big groups, the 4 PK, 5 PK go inside, and the 4 PK go outside. So don't go wrong. The 
4 pk go outside for this one with the power steering pumps so once you got on like once and the uh, second one will be easy and we will tie them on later when we put in the belt because now you just both by hand tie them all by hand first and when you put all the belts on you can do by hand I don't know what tools I use for take this one off but I don't have tools I use in this one see using these tools and wrap it there instead of they falling everywhere roll them on as long as I can and one is on and you can do the other one one is on uh -huh, uh -huh. so that's in my tools okay don't lap on Simon tools okay kind of fought by tools man okay look like it's all on so we need to uh, put the belt on so all on hard right and then you put the belt on and you can tie tight okay okay put the belt on the bottom one on first and this one came last that we can grab the belt and push it up there is no way we can grab the belt from there go with your hand underneath here go there and now they online and then we go underneath here belt on all the time so this one on the pulley puppy outside the line close here and alternator and now we can pull the pin up if you wish and then we can put another belt on so check make sure it's on properly and then pull the pin up okay we use this one use this one if you don't have energy if you don't have energy don't use your energy muscle if you have no energy do like my what Simon do here and uh, release <coughs> we can release by hand oh shit oh. sorry release by push it backward right here Go slowly, and we got us. We got it, baby. Got it out. Okay, you got a belt. All strong. Set the belt on, right? Hold the belt on, and should be all right. So the water pump on. Now it's holding the pulleys here. We can use this one and tie them on. Make sure it's super tight. This one tied by hand here, but it's gotta be hard, okay? You need two hands for this one, man. And this one out. Two hands, one there. This is really annoying, man. See what I talk about? So, so you need one hand push and one hand turn. And you'll be right. The tools work okay. Steady, brother. Steady. You get very good result, okay? <coughs> this is how I get out from beginning. So we have to put it back to the same way. How you get out, how you get in, okay? Patient and turn, 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 turn. You see how hard I put them back on, and you see that hard I get it up for this one. These three bolts is a very long time to take it up, <laughs> so not simple and easy at all. But uh, you really need some patience, okay? You need some patience, brother. Come down, okay? Take it easy, take it easy, and you can do anything, man. Belts on properly and on and we put some water on already so um, we put the A intake so we put the A intake on and then uh, we start the engine let it suck the water into the engine we can start it up let the water suck in and then uh, we put all the ferry back on no worry about that it's well, nearly raining so that's why I wind out the windows wind up the windows uh, Okay, we have to reset that one because we 
we stopped the engine without the uh, a map sensor that's all right we delete that one later we just wait for the water to cool and uh, this one on i don't know why we got our water full check all over again and we got our new water pumps and uh, checking it should be looking good now for everyone who have the tools you can buy ebay to do your car or radiator checks is uh you need the tools okay and every time when you every time you are empty the or what i call it, the the water pumps there is a lot of air and bubble inside we need to put this one on and pump and push the water down push it down so make sure they push down and they push in into the water pump and it circulates and should be enough see now we got have some pressure here so that means it's good so that's how it is and that's what i do if you got a pump like this and you push it in you make sure all the air push in and circulate go through the radiator through the pumps and then it should be working good See, now it's working good. So now, no more air. We can take it up. So the water got warm now because the... Um, see, now we put away. Okay. Done. So, beautiful. The, when we turn on and you see the fan is keep turning. That means the, um, the, the, the engine haven't got enough water go through and they make the sensor here. They go hot and it's turning the fan. You have to press this one turn or blow to get the water pump got some water and it starts to circulate when it circulates and it should be over all right everything all right now that's how it should do now the water starts to warm up and then on and up on and up is good okay look like that. everything good and uh Try to see the temperatures, it's always very good. So turn on. See so you put an eye on the temperature at the middle there somewhere is good. You see it keep going in the middle and go down there, it's perfect. Okay, it should be alright. It should be good. Okay guys, thanks for watching Simon 2 and it, I hope if you can recognize Simon because I crawl underneath and try to take up the boat and that's or the boat down there, very little tiny hand. You need a quarter, half a uh, quarter for a little spinning wretches and uh, 40 mils, 40 uh, torch. Go in there and do the pulleys for the water pump and you can take it up, otherwise it's very hard. In another case, you can take up the engine mouth, but it takes you longer to do that way, okay? I hope you guys have the same cruise in Australia or like American, they call it the Chrysler. Same shit, different smell. But uh, they all work the same, if it's four cylinder. Okay, thanks, see ya.